going on guys welcome back to the pulse points channel and today as you can see from the title i'm going to do a discovery vid on some frappan fragrances um now frappan is one of those brands it's kind of unique it's not very um easily accessible uh, especially here for me in dallas i discovered for pan when i went to to vegas and barney's barney's no longer carry the brand so a lot of their new fragrances i just weren't able to get my nose on uh here recently a, a shop here in dallas the scent room brought in the brand so i was able to actually go and smell uh, and actually picked up a bottle so i'm going to sniff out a couple of the samples that i got and let you know what i think about four of their fragrances uh luminist is one that has been on my to buy list for quite some time so i picked that one up and also got samples of if isle of man and also las carina i think that's how you pronounce it so i will sniff those out give them a letter grade and let you know what i think stay tuned If this is your first time finding me, uh, consider liking and subscribing as I talk about some of the best fragrances on the market for men and women, and I do so in 10 pulse points or less. Let's get into it. Now, first up, Isle of Man. Now, this is not my first time getting my nose on this one in particular. Um, um, I have a sample of this, and I liked it, and wanted to pick it up my wife actually smelled it and did not like it so i was like well let me get a sample of this and, and wear it a couple times and kind of see how it wears on skin before i pull the trigger on a full bottle and i like it it's pleasant um it is definitely on the lighter side it's light almost um almost fizzy not quite fizzy but um effervescent maybe a solid uh, a solid warm weather scent I think let's see if I can get some notes on this bad boy now this is this was released in 2017 so a fairly new uh, fragrance um, top notes of we have grapefruit bitter orange and basil in the mid we ha uh, we have salt violet and freesia and in the base we have woody notes vetiver and musk so it is fresh and it's clean um, to me it's a solid solid scent especially if you're in a warm warm weather to me it doesn't smell like anything that, that's in my collection um, which is a good thing um, so for me it may be bottle worthy it may be one of those fragrances that I just bought for myself um, like again my wife smelled it didn't like it but I'm gonna give that a solid B I like that next next up let's smell um, if Get a good little saturation of that on there. Now this is coming across a little more uh, dense. Now there smells like there may be some vanilla or tonka bean in that, something um, sweet uh, and heavy. I like that one too. Um, not this may fall into the oriental um, realm, possibly. I like it too. I don't like it as much as I like um, the Isle of Man, but I do uh, like it. It's a good smelling fragrance. Um, let's see if we can figure out what's in it. And it says If by R RK is the um, the whole name of the fragrance. And this was this was launched in 2019, and it's just classified as a woody scent. In it we have bergamot ginger and pepper up top in the mid there's fig cashmerian yeah, there, there is a uh, tonka bean in this in the base some patchouli and gayak wood not bad uh, i don't like it as much as i like um the first fragrance isle of man but uh another good scent i would give that a c plus would like to see how that develops um uh, seems like it's changing it started to be semi-light uh, and now I think it's getting a little darker. So from a season standpoint, it's probably more spring falls, not super heavy. Um, I don't think it's a winter scent, but like it. I'll say C plus. All right, let's dive into Lascarina. 
again have no idea what to expect with this okay that's floral I'm getting some rose or something like peony definitely more on the feminine side um, but I do like that I can see um, the wife rocking this in hot, the warm weather this seems like it may be more of a warm weather scent and floral and since I looked up the other two I'll give you the notes on that one as well so there's pear bergamot grapefruit pink pepper uh, really like pink pepper and fragrances by the way just any any scent uh, just a good note um, pink pepper pear in the middle there's orange blossom uh, rose and in the base there is bullabanum black pepper iris and ambroxan yeah I mean that's a solid it's a solid fragrance definitely more on the feminine side because it does come across really floral uh, but I'll give that one a B uh, I really like that uh, for the for the ladies um, I don't think uh, I could necessarily pull this off or I wouldn't pull this off myself but on a woman yes I would like that one B for Ascarina and last up from the house of Rapan the one that I bought called Luministe now I had a decan of this and it evaporated and I bought um, another sample and I lost it. I have no idea what I did with it. I've been looking for it for forever and I don't know, it just, just disappeared. Uh, it, this has been on my to buy list. I've smelled this years ago, um, knew that I was going to buy it and I finally went ahead and pulled the trigger. Uh, now that it's here local, uh, support local business, all that good stuff. So. Uh, let's spray this bad boy on and I'm actually gonna put this on skin <sighs> yes now some of the things that I wanted um, from this I wanted something light fresh um, something that I could wear here in the uh, warmer seasons um, a dumb reach type fragrance and right off the sprayer I think uh, it hit it checks all those boxes it's, it's fresh it's light um, it is citrusy and starting to calm down from uh, the brightness and uh, smooth out a little bit. Now let's see what's in this. So there's uh, lemon, bergamot, cardamom, pink pepper, another pink pepper scent. I like uh, like like the note of pink pepper, black pepper in the heart. There's juniper, juniper berries, nutmeg, thyme, peony. I didn't get that from the first sniff. Um, and then in the base, there's gin, oak moss, tonka, gin, oak moss, and tonka. Uh, so again, this was on my two buy list. So I smelled it before, liked it. Um, so I'm not surprised that I like this as well. I'm liking the way that dries down. Uh, very pleasant, very easy to wear. Um, uh, I stopped short of saying that it smells unique. I don't think it smells uh, overly unique, but it does smell good. It smells like uh, good quality. I'll give that a B plus. I really like that one but that's not a surprise I, I think I knew I would like that one anyway uh, let me know what you guys think about the house of Japan if you have any of their fragrances I would be interested to see what you think about them uh, again not very popular uh, as far as I know here in the in the US at least um, I had a buddy pick me up a couple bottles while he was in France um, so it's probably easier to find over there than it is here. Um, with that, I will see you guys in the next vid. Peace. Let's see if I can get some notes on this bad boy.